Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to the September 27th Village Board Meeting. At this time, I'd like to ask everybody to please stand for the pledge and then remain standing for a moment of silence while armed forces serving throughout the world. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, again, I'd like to welcome everybody to our meeting, and we're going to get right into it. So, could I have a motion to accept the minutes from our meeting held on August 23rd? I make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to accept the minutes for our meeting held September 12th. Make a Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Desiree, could you please read abstract number eight? Abstract eight contains vouchers 18.0664 to 18.0774 and totals $183,867.79. Thank you. Motion to approve abstract number eight. Make that motion. I'll second. All in, I mean, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to appoint Jennifer Potter to the position of part-time clerk in the building department for 20 hours per week at a rate of $18.27 per hour with the start date of October 1st, 2018. I'll make the motion. I'll Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve fire department equipment request 2018-25 totaling <coughs> approximately $176.50 for badges and insignias. All right, good I'll second. Any discussion? Uh, just one question on the line two, the uh, column two. There's only one on there, but the invoice attached. There's four, do we know? We're only approving one. We're only approving one of us, what the cover sheet says, yeah. This is highly irregular. Tom is, Tom is our uniform. Tom is the uniform uh, procurement guy. No, no, take your time. We're just one, alive here. Just do one and then I'll call tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know why there's one there. So there's only one? Yeah. So just one? Okay. okay. Just one. Okay, I, I do have a a motion and a second. Uh, we did have some discussion. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve fire department equipment request 2018-26 totaling approximately $429 for an iPad for ladder 503. Aye. Aye. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 By department membership, Desiree, could you please read the name of personnel whose status is being changed from active to inactive? Johnny Gonzalez, effective August 1st. Okay. Motion to approve the fire department status change from active to inactive of the name read by a clerk. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Desiree, could you please read the names of the applicants for Highland Mills Fire Company? Dan Bigby and Ken Bigby both have passed their physicals successfully. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve the app applicants just presented by Clerk Potvin. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Old business none, new business. Um, motion to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement with Orange County for snow and ice removal on certain county roads for the 2018-2019 season at a rate of 
uh, $4,800 per mile for a total of $5,904. I'll second. Sorry. Any discussion? <coughs> that, that, that includes Thunderbird up near the high school? So. That's basically what it is. Uh, this this is a rate they pay for the whole year. It's not like they pay $5,000 for, you know, one point something miles. It's, very, it's yeah, every time. That would be, that's, that's for the season. It includes great rails. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve the closure of Smith Clove Road on September 29, 2018 from 12.30 to 5 p.m. The closure will be from Peroni Lane to Peroni Circle Monument at the corner of Valley Lane. This closure will be for the fire department uh, to initiate their new engine 521 with a wet down. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Just a question, what time does it start? Because the notice only just said that it was from one to five. We need to wear a raincoat. And I, I assume you're inviting the public to this event, or? Yeah, it's open to anybody. Okay. So feel free to come down. Okay. As long as I don't get wet. <laughs> Is there a police and fire police going to be there to redirect traffic and stuff? Uh, the police will be there. The police will be there, and the highway department's going to put out signs. signs. I do have one question. What is it? If we do have an 18 wheeler come down Smith Clove, uh, he's got to go through the work zone. Yeah, no, he's never going to make that. We're going to have, I asked the fire police to be available, yeah. so somebody will be manning the corner at, at all times. I just make sure that if happens. someone's if a truck's coming down Smith Clove, he's never going to be able to go down Peroni and come back out Valley ever. So we're going to have to let him go through like like the fire trucks will be going through. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, we'll make yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we were notified on September 12th that uh, New York Deep LLC, doing business as Uno Pizza and Grill, located at 20 Center Drive, Central Valley, New York 10917, is applying for a liquor license from the New York State Liquor Authority. A request was made to the police department to determine if there's any reason why this village should object to this application being approved, Woodbury Police Department stated there have been no significant in incidents that would warrant an objection to this application. We were also notified on September 18th that the new Woodbury Diner, hey, sounds like it's moving along, located at 220 Route 32, Central Valley, New York, is applying for a liquor license from the New York State Liquor Authority. The request was made to the police department to determine if there's any reason why the village should object to this application. The Woodbury Police Department <coughs> stated there's been no significant incidents that would warrant an objection to this application. So Desiree, could you please send a letter to the State Liquor Authority indicating the village board has no objection to either of these applications? Thank you. Okay, we've received a notice concerning lead agency from the Woodbury Planning Board declaring themselves to be lead agency in the matter of Vincent Schlesinger for a three lot subdivision and the construction of a single family house. So I'm going to ask for, unless there's any objections, I'm going to ask for a motion to affirm the village of Woodbury uh, Planning Board. No, motion to affirm that the village of Woodbury Board of Trustees have no objection to the Woodbury Planning Board being designated lead agency. Any discussion? I guess for a motion first. Motion. Well, I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? It, it's just that I think it's forward. This is this is. You got to speak into the mic. Okay. This, this is uh, this is uh, I think a hundred and twelve acre approximately. Um, hundred and twenty one. Uh, sorry. One twenty one. One hundred and twenty one. I I I knew there was a ones and twos in there someplace is they're only now requesting, I think, one residence. That's is, correct. I think, the, I think the planning board and others need to keep an, keep an eye on this to see what else may come forward to will be developed there. I think this is the site that we were approached on before on providing uh, water and I think possibly sewage 
to that site, so I think that is something that does need to be monitored by, by both the, our board, the planning board, you know, and the building department. Okay, thank you for that. Anybody else? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the village board has received the new local law titled devices in the right of way slash easements. We're in the process of preparing our secret documents. This law will also require a GML 239 review by the county planning department. We hope to be scheduling a public hearing at our next meeting, October 11th. Okay, an update on the uh, Millage Hall Firehouse Expansion Plan. A few months ago, we were talking about doing an expansion of the Highland Mills Firehouse slash Village Hall. Several months back, we met with an architecture and explained our needs. Now we have plans and want to share them with the public. These plans will be available at Village Hall and the library. In a nutshell, there will be an extension on the north side of the existing building. It will consist of two floors. The first floor will have two additional apparatus bays and storage. The second floor will add additional office space that will house the building department. Each floor will be about 2,550 square feet. Based on preliminary architectural approved floor plans and the site plan sketch, the construction cost estimate with a 7.5% contingency is $2,983,500. This estimate includes everything, soft cost, borings, and geotechnology, uh, geotechno geotechnical report, architectural MEP, civil engineering fees, loop road, and additional parking. I should also mention that we hope to reduce some of the cost by having the highway department construct the loop road and the additional parking. I also want to make everyone aware that the Central Valley Firehouse will remain open and utilized as a fire training center in addition to it being maintained as a firehouse with an active apparatus bay. Uh, that's it for my update. Is there any discussion by the board concerning the update of the expansion plan? I'm good, Mike. The other one is good? Okay. With that, that concludes our business for this evening. Uh, with that, I'm going to go out to the public. Anybody in the uh, first, second row? Anybody in the uh, third row? Uh, just one thing, Mike. You, you have to, Scotty, now you got to come to me. Uh, See, if this is Phil Donnie, you would run over to you with the mic. <laughs> I just wanted to remind everybody on October 13th, we're having an open house at the Highland Mills Firehouse for fire prevention. We're going to have dem demonstrations put on, and we're going to have a, um, we're going to honor a few people from town. And I'm not going to tell you who, but anybody's welcome. It's from 10 to 2. Hopefully we get a nice turnout. We're going to have you know, um, a lot of fire prevention stuff out and membership drive, stuff like that. Is it true you're cutting the mayor's car now? <coughs> yes. Well, thank you for that. And uh, we can make that announcement again at our next uh, board meeting, put on our Facebook page. If you want to send us any additional information, we'll put it on the Facebook page. Anybody else in the audience? Rob, you got anything? I do one thing. Um, November 3rd, we'll be having our electronic drop-off slash shredding event. It'll be held at the Village of Woodbury Highway Garage from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., November 3rd. Thank you. Buddy? I have nothing to make. Neil? I have nothing. Tom? just want to say uh, it's pretty cool to see the new water tower get built. Um, I had to say the crane scared me, um, but uh, we're making a lot of progress up there. What would you say, 75% uh, complete? Or? It's supposed to be by the end of October, done. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's supposed to be putting water back in there. Excellent. 
Uh, that's it. Thank you. I just want to announce a couple of events that the Chamber's holding in the next month for October, October 16th. There will be a Meet the Candidates uh, mixer at Paleo Winery from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It'll be an informal opportunity for residents of Woodbury to meet the individuals running for Village Trustee, State Assembly, and State Senate. And on October 31st is the annual Trunk or Treat at the Smith Cove Elementary School from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thank you. It's my understanding there'll be no formal QA, QA at that building? At the meet and greet yeah. or the Trunk or Treat? <laughs> there is no formal Q&A at the meet and greet. That takes um, a lot of planning and there's certain procedures that has to be followed for something like that. It's going to be an informal event. Each candidate will give about have about five minutes just to speak to introduce themselves and residents are encouraged to go up to the candidates while they're mixing and mingling. There will be light refreshments served by the way, cash bar. Um, to go up and meet with the candidates and talk to them one on one or with their friends if they'd like to do that. It was a great event last year. Last year was the first year that they had it in a long time and uh, in this particular format. And we're hoping that it'll be a great event again this year. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just have one thing I'd like to uh, thank the members of the Woodbury Fire Department for coming out this evening to support the uh, expansion of the. Uh, Woodbury uh, Island Mills Firehouse and the Village Hall. Uh, with that, I wish everybody uh, falls here. Uh, it's starting to get darker earlier, so please be careful driving around. Remember, the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. With that, I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. <clears throat> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you and good night.